Hello, this is Hard Money Mike, and today we're going to talk about one of our programs, a two-step loan program, how to set it up quickly. So, as we call it, quick to buy, quick to refinance, you know, using the Burr method. And when we look at the Burr method, one of the things that we always look at is, is clients who are looking to limit your cash into the project. So, if you're looking at using the Burr, to limit the cash into your project, one of the things you have to look at is how do you set up properly your short-term loan? Even though your short-term loan is first, we always set up our short-term loan, our short-term loan, sorry, in reference to exactly what our long-term loan, we wanna match those two. So first let's look at what is a refinance? So a refinance is taking a property that already has a current loan on it, or a property that you already own and getting a new loan on it. So if you're looking at one of the types of loans you could get is called a rate and term. And that's where you just pay off your current mortgage. There might be some incidental cash out, maybe one or 2%, but it's really just paying off that first mortgage. Unless there's an occasion where there's a second when you purchased it, you might be able to combine them. If it's not here, then it's considered a cash out loan. E even if in this loan you're paying off your first and you're paying off other people, vendors, maybe your money partner, if the loan is not going to pay off the first lien, it's considered a cash out. And where does that come into play? Well, there's three things. Number one is maximize. So if we're looking to use this two-step loan program to limit your cash, number one, we want to maximize the loan. So on a rate and term, on a standard, we're going to stick with standard conforming. We know we have hundreds of loan products out there and the rate, the, the numbers might change a little bit, but it's the same concept. Maximize your loan. Here, you're going to be able to get a loan to value with a rate and term of 75%. If you're looking at a cash out, you're going to be limited to 70%. So right now we're not going to be able to maximize our loan by using cash out. Number two, we want to minimize our cash flow. And part of that minimizing is how long we have that short term loan. So we want to make sure we're maximizing and minimizing our money. So on a rate and term, as long as your project is complete, you've done all the work, we could use the appraisal. You could do this at any time. So you could get an appraisal at any time. Over here on the cash out, if you want to use the appraised value to get your loan for the cash out so you can get more cash out, you have to wait six months. So here you're going to keep your short term loan that probably has a higher interest rate a lot longer if you set this up in rate and term. The other thing is costs. So on a rate and term, how the lenders, Fannie, Freddie, the conforming look at this is they look at his rate and term as a little less risky. So on cash out, your rate will be a little bit higher and your costs are gonna be a little bit higher too. So when we look at setting this up, like I said, we wanna be able to maximize your loan and limit all the cash that you have into this. And we're gonna do that best with a rate and term. And how do we do that? Well, as everyone knows, you start out with a short-term loan, which is your hard money, your bridge loan, to buy the property. And then you're gonna get into a long-term loan. So if we wanna maximize our long-term loan, our short-term loan is gonna to have to equal our long-term loan. And the only way that we're gonna be able to match the short-term loan to the long-term loan is one of the keys to our two-step loan program is we have to get you approved for this long-term loan program first to see if you are in a conforming loan or one of the other literally hundreds of programs out there. We wanna match those two numbers. So if your long-term loan is 225,000, we're, we want to make sure your, your short-term loan is 225000 also. 
So let's look at an example here. Let's just say we have a property that we could either do a rate and term or cash out. And I'm gonna tell you most lenders, unfortunately set it up here and limiting what you're gonna do. We wanna set this up properly. So let's say that ARV, appraised value after you're all done, is $300,000. Now let's say you bought it from a wholesaler, wholesale, for 200000 And repairs were forty. So all in, your costs were 240000 so what would the difference look like between a rate and term and a cash out? So if we properly set up this loan as a rate and term, and we know that we could do a loan for 225,000, we as a short-term lender would not only cover part of your purchase price, but we'd also cover part of your repairs. So in this loan, we would do a short-term loan for your rate and term up to 225,000, which includes all your purchase price and part of your repairs. In this case, you'd have $15,000 into it. Now let's look at an example of how we see these set up all the time. So let's just say a common example is someone goes, I'll take out a loan for the purchase price, but I'll cover the repairs. So they do a short-term loan for 200,000. And then they put in the 40,000 themselves. So since we're at cash out at 70%, and we know our appraised value is this, so 70% of 310,000 means our long-term loan is limited to $210,000. So number one, you know, we have a $15,000 difference between the long-term loan over here on the rate and term. And now when you go to look at getting your money back, part of your money back that you put into the repairs, you're only gonna get $10,000 out. So in this case, you're gonna have cash in of 30,000. Compared to over here, you're gonna have cash in the 225 minus the 240, you're gonna have cash in of the $15,000. So what this shows is you could buy twice as many properties over here with the cash you have over here by setting this up correctly. Not only that, but you're leveraging, you're maximizing your leverage. Remember, we're looking at loans where we wanna limit our cash and maximize our loan. So by using the rate and term, process over a cash out process, we're able to do a larger loan, larger loan over here, and we're able to put less cash into the deal. So when we set this up, we always wanna set it up that we're doing a rate and term for the refinance for the long-term loan. If you set this up improperly, it's gonna take you longer because you're gonna be into this for at least six months and you're gonna get less out. So this whole concept is about working with the BRRRR system. It's, it's what we call quick to buy, quick to refinance. Because you wanna buy those quick so you get, up, get them at wholesale, but you also wanna refinance them quicker for the maximum loan you can, quick as soon as you can, and you wanna keep your cost as low as possible. So that's why we have the two-step loan program where we walk you through step by step so you have the confidence to keep buying these over and over. So we'd love to work with you. And if you have any questions, check out our websites, hardmoneymike.com or investorrealestateloans.com. Let us set up a two-step loan program for you so you can buy these properties right.